an exciting show it's been so far. It's just getting better. Nikita Kucherov looking to make it eight straight games to start the season with a goal. Lightning and Blue Jackets, Nikita Kucherov needs a goal to tie Wayne Gretzky for third most games with a goal to start a season. Fires it on net, and it's stopped by Sergei Bobrovsky. It's the first time producer Tim's given me a Blue Jackets highlight pack. It's keeping me away from my boy, oh no! You're out the case, Bobrovsky! Sergeyev again! Bobrovsky, a rookie made you look like a rookie! Kucherov fails to score for the first time this season, Lightning. Derek Carr, know him? He's a pretty cool guy. Don't believe me? Then I guess you haven't been watching this show because we play this pretty much every day. Yeah, yeah, he's cool, all right, but against the Chiefs, not so much. Five losses in six meetings. His second game after returning from a broken back, still in the second, Carr takes a late hit here. A scrum ensues, and Marshawn Lynch runs onto the field and gets into it with an official. Uh, he was ejected and will very likely face a suspension. Carr looking end zone. And J Jared Cook in triple coverage. Initially ruled a touchdown. Second look, look at this. Cook down by contact inside the one. So eight seconds left. Raiders on the goal line. Carr to Michael Crabtree. Definitely pushed off. Flag for pass interference. Three seconds left. One more chance for Carr. Pass is incomplete, but another flag. And Carr gets another chance. Bootleg. Crabtree. Football game. No time on the clock. They win it on the extra point, of course. The Chiefs' second straight loss after starting the season 5 0. Jack Del Rio and the Raiders. They do, definitely. Uh, it was the Knicks in Oklahoma City to take on the Thunder in both teams' season opener Thursday. That's right. Carmelo Anthony didn't have to wait long to face his former team, and I'm sure he wouldn't be dramatic about it. In the NBA, he took to his Instagram account on Thursday afternoon and said, you watched me walk through hell. Now watch me walk about it. What? <laughs> Westbrook had a triple-double again. Thunder looking good. Unruly lawn? Long grass? Don't do it yourself. Hire the professional broadcaster. Michael Landsberg's Lawn and Sports Landscaping. Landsberg's Lawn and Sports Landscaping is the only landscaper featuring landscaping by Landsberg while Landsberg cuts to the core of the sporting landscape. We mow grass, trim hedges, and are the leaves facing a future salary cap disaster? Call us for fall cleanups, spring clearouts, and does Connor McDavid have enough support? We have the best lawn mowers, and will Gary Bettman force the city of Calgary to pay for a stadium? Michael Landsberg's Lawn and Sports Landscaping. It's a landscaping company that's also a sports radio show that's also a bet gone awry. Let's walk. You mentioned Landsberg. There he is. Yeah, He's, uh... sponsoring this segment. Good to have him on board. Classic Landsberg. Little side hustle. Uh, how about the Dodgers? Oh, man. Kike Hernandez played hero on Thursday night. Dodgers, they're headed to the World Series for the first time since 1988. Hernandez hit three home runs, including that grand slam as L.A. Cruz passed the Cubs in Game 5, 11-1. We could have predicted this because when we left Canada for a, a brief stint, as soon as we left, the Blue Jays got good. That's right. So we had left L.A., the Dodgers got good. Got good. And we came back to Canada, Blue Jays got bad. <laughs> That's right. Sorry. Uh, the Capitals held a team bonding session at the FBI Academy in Virginia, and it was highlighted by Alex Ovechkin's struggles with a battering ram. Okay. FBI! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the good shot there, though. Oh, good oh. shot. There you go. <laughs> FBI! <laughs> yeah. Those people, are, they're long gone. I love, I love the way he said FBI. <laughs> yeah. FBI! <laughs> uh, so amazing. We are professional broadcasters. Very much so. We respect other broadcasters. We have to perform under extreme conditions. We no all question. know that. 
uh, which brings us to our new segment, which brings us to our new segment, I'll enunciate as a professional broadcaster. Game, respect, game. Here's TSN's Raptors reporter, Josh Bloomberg, trying to do a live hit in the early edition of SportsCenter on Thursday. The first test comes tonight against what's left of the Chicago Bulls after that bizarre practice altercation on Tuesday. Bobby Portis is suspended for punching Nikola Mirotic. That's tough. Yeah, this has been game. Respect game. He kept at it. I'm bailing on that. Fun. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm guys, just walking I can't away. I yeah. can't hear you. I'm like, sorry, Lindsey Hamilton. You have to take it from here. Week seven in the NFL is under. Is under and for. <laughs> underway. Underway. I'll read anything on the prompter, Dan. <laughs> anything. <laughs> Week seven in the NFL is underway. And for the latest news from around the league, let's bring in our expert. He's the most exciting star reporter at the National Football League Network. It's ain't nothing but a G thing. It's he is the NFL Network's Mike Garofolo joining us. Uh, big developments in Mike's uh, home set. The library behind him now contains Jay's two books. So uh, good on you for doing that, Mike. Um, Jameis Winston knocked out of the Bucks Week 6 loss to the Cards with an injury to his throwing shoulder. Uh, what's his status come Sunday? They're playing the Bills. Dan, he's a little bit behind because they expected him to do some throwing on Thursday. He did not do that, but head coach Dirk Cutter said that he is expected to take all the snaps with the first team offense on Friday. So they are hopeful that Jameis Winston is going to be able to play. Mike, I feel like we ask you about Andrew Luck every week, but this is looking <laughs> dire now. The Colts have shut him down. He suffered a setback earlier this week. Is this it for Andrew Luck for the season? No, Jay, you ask me every week about Andrew Luck because this thing seems to take a twist and a turn every week for Andrew Luck. And so now they are backing him down because he had some pain. He took a cortisone shot there. So what that does, Jay, is it kind of resets the clock for him to return. We're talking about into November, possibly December, and we talked a little bit last week. Why would you do that? If, if this team's going to wind up being out of it by then, why would Andrew Luck then return? I am told that they continue to say if he's ready at any point this season, no matter the record, no matter the situation, they will play him just to get some good vibes going into 2018. But right now, things are on pause for Andrew Luck. That is our extremely well-read NFL insider Mike Garofalo. Still to come, more hockey. Would Matthew Barzal join in on the night of first goals? That's coming up when we return on Sports Center with Jay and Dan, presented by Tim Horton. Tim Horton's drive through. We bring you the top stories of the day. They've got a grilled cheese now? Oh, I gotta give a you one. A gourmet grilled cheese. Oh. I need one right now. Toronto Raptors open their season. Big win over Chicago. Six Raptors scored in double figures, including 22 points from new addition C.J. Miles. Uh, try name three bowls right now. You can't do it. The Canucks lost 6-3 to the Bruins. Hunters Nielsen pulled after allowing four goals on 17 shots. Four goals. That was a nice goal by David Pasternak. Ottawa Senators lost 5-4 in overtime to the Devils. First overall draft pick, Nico Hishay. Scored his first two NHL goals. Captain Eric Carlson picked up three assists in the loss. And the Flames fell 2-1 to the Canes. Yammer Yager did pick up an assist in the loss. Scott Darley, who made 25 saves for the win. I'm not sure if you know this, but the Rangers are really struggling. They've lost six of seven to start the season for the first time since 1959. Ties of the threes. Overtime solves nothing. Everyone take a drink. We're off to a shootout. It is Jordan Eberle. Good buddy of ours. Didn't invite us to his wedding. Not worried about it. Not stressed about it. Happy for him. Game winner. Rangers dropped five straight. Does that shot have some moments? Yeah, it is. Some of our favorite and least favorite plays. David Pastrenet. Beautiful individual effort against the Vancouver Canucks. This has got to be in 1v1, doesn't it, Dan? I don't know what goes into that. Isles Rangers. Yes, for fast. Shot on goal. Euro Halak. Recovers. 
just calmly reaches back with that goal stick. They're really light now. When I played, those things weighed 80 pounds. Oilers and Blackhawks, Dan, this has also got to be in 1v1. This incredible McDavid. play by Connor McDavid to get it around Duncan Keith and to Patrick Maroon. Producer Tim, can we have two plays from Thursday in 1v1? Producer Tim saying no. Producer Tim not being a team player. Swain Simmons. Uh, I think he was showing how his mouth got hit by a stick when he was sitting on uh, sitting on the bench. Yeah, I think you're right. Bulls and wraps. Half court heave. And check this out. This is DeMar DeRozan's significant other catching it. That's nice. This weekend's Lotto 649 jackpot is $30 million, but there's a chance that neither Dan or myself will win. Yeah, so we need to make a little extra scratch on the side, so we're getting into the app game. It's time for the Jan Dan App Store. These are apps that don't exist, but they should. Stylin' Ryan. Oh, Lammer Hello. Once again, I'll read anything on the prompter. Lammer Hello. Get custom greeting cards written and designed by Lou Lamorello himself, each with a personalized video greeting, with Lamorello saying everything from hi to howdy. How did we get the Maple Leafs? Oh, never mind. Kershaw can't afford baseball playoff tickets? Well, if you're a Dodgers fan, you can download the Kershaw app and watch the game from Clayton Kershaw's perspective. Whether he's on the mound or in the bullpen, you get the best seat in the house. Please don't tell Clayton Kershaw we put a camera in his hat. Stylin' Ryan. <laughs> now you can help Rob Ryan with his terrible fashion sense with the Stylin' Ryan app. Select an ugly blazer to go with these poorly fitting pants and you're ready to go on national TV. This app has more than five blazers and sport coats to choose from and all of them look like a paint monster got violently ill at a morse. This has been the Jay and Dan App Store. I like I, I like sport coats, that term. That we don't use that enough anymore. Oh uh, I'd white? like to pick up a sport coat. Sport coat. The sport coats would be a good name for a band. Darren Dreger is coming up in studio next. Drag team. They are comfy. We're in them. They're the Coors side seats. And we welcome TSN Hockey Insider Darren Dreger for his first visit to the set. Thank you for coming. Won't be the last. No, I hope Absolutely not. Well, it depends not. on how you do here. <laughs> this is uh, sort of an audition. So I'm going to stumble <laughs> and bumble my way through it. <laughs> oh, no, okay. at night, for heaven's sake. <laughs> we, no. should, we shouldn't have told you. No. Uh, Jeff Carter, he had surgery Thursday, repairing a cut to his leg against the Canadians. Are, every, yeah. The players aren't wearing the Kevlar socks? A lot of them do, in fact. It's the cut-resistant sock, uh, but it's become an issue, obviously. You know, you think back to Eric Carlson, the amount of time that he missed with the Ottawa Senators, not that long ago and now you take a player like Jeff Carter out of the Los Angeles Kings lineup for a considerable amount of time you know that is clearly going to impact you know the Kings moving forward they're off to a great start but you know you see on the play it's almost like he's like mm, something doesn't feel right yeah. but you know imagine that skate cutting across your foot so there's been some ligament damage there he had uh, surgery to repair it He'll be out several weeks. Okay. Is it five? Is it six? Is it more than that? Not sure. And then more injury talk. Tuka Rask suffers a concussion. Uh, Malcolm Subban's already in Vegas. So are the Bruins comfortable with the Anton? <laughs> is it Huboden or Kuboden? I never know. Hudobin? H Hudobin? Hudobin? Yeah. <laughs> I struggle with that name. One of name. those will work. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, all right, let's lighten things up a little bit. Uh, yeah. there, there is no bigger fan of your Instagram account than my wife. <laughs> My wife. And I got to tell you, <laughs> she loves the fact that you often post pictures of animals on your Instagram account, right. and that has inspired our latest segment. <laughs> All of your animal dreams unfurled. We're talking Darren Drager Safari World. <laughs> so uh, let's go through some of the pictures you posted. And uh, was this today? No, no. This was early in the summer. And clearly, this snake had just dined, hence the bulge Where is in the middle this? of the snake. 
on my patio. What? This is yeah. where, how are you, where are you living in the Sahara? Yeah, well, we're close. Uh, no, I'm actually near a conservation forest. Okay. And this was pre-renovation backyard, so there was a lot going on at the time, which is why I think the snake actually made its way onto the uh, stone slab. Does okay. this terrify you when you see creatures like this? I'm not really oh, a snake look at guy. This but no, kittens. not too bad. Yeah. Where's this? Look, I mean, that was at the pet store in Whitby, Ontario. I, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm stopped by to buy dog stairs because my dog tore his ACL. He can't get up onto the bed, so I went in to buy doggy stairs. Here's these two little <laughs> kitties. Dog stairs. There's so huh? much to unpack with that. Set. <laughs> yes, I know. Dog stairs. These two poor ACL. little kitties. I couldn't take them home. Uh, just because I didn't want to, but I felt like I, I should have at least helped find them a home. Okay. Now this next snake picture. This Another is, one. Was this today? Yes, this was today. And now I should have put like a ruler beside it because this little red belly snake is about seven centimeters long, teeny weeny, wow. like the size of a worm. He was in my skimmer of the pool, so I could see something move and I could see the red belly and it was lifeless. So I pulled it out of there, threw it onto the deck, it was warm outside, and within a minute or two, he came alive. Look but at you. I, I wanted this, animals. I wanted to keep. I, I wanted to keep it because I feel bad. I put it out in the cold, it's probably dead. Buddy. What do you think? You get a, a little, uh, what do you call it, terrarium? Yeah, you exactly. put them in there? Yeah. There we go. Right. My, my wife more. is terrified of snakes. My wife. Okay. And uh, finally, where's this? This was in Saskatchewan, near Melville, Saskatchewan, in fact. Home of the and, millionaires. Yes, home of the millionaires. Extraordinary picture. Obviously, it's a moose, but there were two of them, and they're never in open field like this. Yeah. Like I've been moose hunting in another life as a kid, um, and I've, I mean, they're I could have done nasty things. They to are that not animal. smooth. They are not pretty. They are. They'll take you yeah. out, man. Well, I'm, I'm not telling you, you got to be careful of the moose. Okay. You just said I could have done nasty things to that animal, and that's where we're going to end this segment. <laughs> Darren Drager, thank you for joining us on the Coors Side Seats. Thanks for having me. And my nose started running during that. Is it cold season? I hope not. Do we have a cold and flu sponsor? One v one time. When I'm making a truck, I always make sure it's got guts. That it has glory, and that it's a ramp. First up, the challenger. <laughs> Connor McDavid. Hangs on to it. Right out uh, of front. What a pass. Yeah, Whoa. that Pasternak goal is pretty good. That Pasternak goal is amazing, too. You no? Know? Uh, and then taking on Save Nolan Patrick, the Patrick. champ. Look at that. Are you ready to make any bold predictions about this one, Toolsy? Uh, I think McDavid wins. Uh, visit tsn.ca slash 1v1. You cast your vote, and then it's revealed at 6 Eastern on SportsCenter uh, with Lindsay Hamilton, a human I've never met. Uh, Lindsay McMagic Hamilton. I met her. She was really nice, and she said something to me. She said, why hasn't Dan introduced myself, himself to me? I said, I don't know. Uh, you'll have to ask him. So I'll have to work that out with her. Uh, we blew it. I said Anton Hudobin, but it's Hudobin. I'll never get that right. And I really messed up a lot of teleprompter reads. Yeah. I think, do we have tape of that, Tim? I really struggled with a lot of teleprompter reads. I blame someone else. Tim? Definitely not me. Do we have that? I'll read anything on the prompter, Dan. <laughs> anything.